Donington 92 is, I mean, you can't say it's uh, the first time we played it because obviously it's, it's not. Um, but in a sense, the challenge I think is going to be to, you know, to top that first time. And I think it's doable because I know that we were so nervous the first time I was. I mean, I was just in a, I was in a complete fog for about the first half of the show until I, I didn't open my eyes. I don't think I didn't dare look the first time we went there, which may sound, uh, I don't know if it sounds strange or not, you know, after all these years of touring and everything, but uh, big events like that sort of get me quite, <laughs> quite shaken up for about a week beforehand. And uh, you never realise how sort of tense you are until you get out on stage and, and it starts to evaporate. Um, so for this one, I must confess I am still pretty nervous about it because I know that there is going to be this pressure and because uh, we have, a, I think, a hell of an album to live up to, you know, regardless of our, you know, reputation or whatever in terms of, uh, uh, in terms of uh, uh, just, just a band. So I'm, I'm a bit nervous about it, but I'm looking forward to it in the sense that it is our home territory. And I'm, whilst I'm nervous, I'm also determined to go out and just enjoy it for the day and, and just have a great time that day. Yeah, I mean, Donington is going to be amazing. Well, I hope, hope so anyway. It was amazing last time we played. And in a way, we were a little bit concerned because we thought, well, it was so good last time. I mean, how do you sort of better that, you know? So it's a bit worrying in, in that sense. Then we just thought, oh, you know, let's, you know, let's just go for it and uh, do our best, you know. It's, that's all we can do is go and do our best. I'm sure, be, you know, I'm sure it'd be good. I mean, the fans, you know, are always so loyal with us, you know, in Britain. So, you know, it's, I'm sure they'll be behind us. I mean, we'll be obviously be really, really nervous, you know. I mean, we were so nervous last time we did it. But in some ways, that gives you a bit of an edge, I think. Yes, all you lucky boys and girls out there may be coming to see us at Don Donington this year again, yes. Last time we were there, 1988, boys and girls, had a fantastic time. I'll never forget it. We actually started the set off uh, on time and uh, we finished 10 minutes early. And who got blamed for that? Uh, just the drummer of the band, I suppose. You know, no, we were very, very nervous. It was a great experience, one that uh, will uh, stay with all of us, I think, for as long as we live. But we do have the chance to play there again this year for you all. And um, I myself, I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> Um, it should be a really good show and uh, we've got a real good bill coming together, so look forward to seeing you all in. Donington Festival, it's, been, it's going to be 10 years to the day that I actually played Donington with Ian Gillen. 10 years to the day, so I'm going to be pretty scared when we go, but I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be very exciting for me personally. And I was there in ETA when uh, me and them played, and I think that was a phenomenal gig, so we've got to try and match that with We basically put four bands the bills, the festival bills, or whatever that we would like to have on, you know, the possibility of having on. Um, but some, you know, obviously there's always problems with like some bands either doing an album or you know they're doing something else or whatever. Like I mean, for instance, we wanted to have uh, Van Halen and the Cult the two, you know, that I would like to have had. Van Halen uh, either didn't want to do it or couldn't do it or whatever, and the Cult were doing their own festival. Uh, I don't know, Finsbury Park or somewhere. Um, so we just put forward, you know, a lot of bands, knowing that some of them are not going to be able to do it anyway. And then obviously bands get suggested by other people or whatever, you know, like the agent or the bands actually contact the agent saying they would like to do it. And then we talk about, you know, the bands that we like. I'm pretty sure we'll be playing um, Big Put will be dead um, from here to eternity. Maybe, maybe wasting love. Um, possibly the fugitive. Fear of the dark, definitely. Um, so, but you know, the, the set tends to sort of change around anyway, a bit, you know. I mean, even like the old songs and stuff, we tend to swap them around a bit here and there. And um, so, and like in America, we do a shorter set than in Europe anyway, so um, basically, like this when we play South America, we'll be trying out the European set. So, um, for Donington, you know. So, we don't know exactly what we're going to be playing. Um, you know, we've got like so many songs now. It's really, really difficult to know what to play and what not to play, really. But uh, we we'll just get a you know really long list and, and rehearse them all, and then basically do the tour and uh, do as many songs as we can, really. You have to get in the site mid to late afternoon, and uh, at that point you discover that I, I don't know. I just I just go stir crazy. Um, I just sort of uh, end up 
pacing around the caravans and wandering around and, and and you never know I don't know what to do I don't know whether to start up conversations with people and then then suddenly get nervous halfway through it and think I shouldn't be talking I should be resting my voice and you know whatever I I just get a, I'm in a complete tiz for the whole day so uh, that's that's sort of my that, that that's my day usually I go up on on the uh, on the stage and see a little bit of some of the other bands but not much because I don't know whether it's superstition or, or, or what it is, but I think that if you've got to perform that day and you're watching other bands doing their performance on that stage, you're sort of um, diminishing your own energy because you use up a lot of energy when you're watching somebody like in a rock band. If you're, if you're in there and you're really paying attention, you're actually using a lot of mental energy watching it and thinking, oh great, terrific. And I want to save every ounce of that for walking on stage. And I don't want to see if something doesn't go down well or if something happens that's right. I don't want that to be on my mind. I don't want anything, you know, negative to be on my mind about anything that's happened on that stage. I don't even want to, I, I want to pretend like nobody else has been on it, in fact. So I suppose, boys and girls, enjoy your lives and enjoy fear of the dark. Hope you enjoy Donington. It's going to be a lark. <laughs> See you soon! <laughs>